Hey, I'm John Adams. I'm lead pastor at the Vine Community Church. And we started the Vine about 15 years ago with a vision to see a church that would be uh, a group of people coming together in God's love and be changed by that love and grace. And then not to just uh, contain that love with one another, but to see that love spread. Our vision at the Vine is to be a wildfire of grace. And so what does that look like? When I think about what a wildfire of grace looks like, I think about the people in our community of faith. Danny Morales, and I think of a amazing young man who's on fire for God. Hello, my name is Danny. I am 19 years old and I just graduated from West Forsyth High School. I've been going to the Vine about eight years now. First started going to uh, the youth groups. Once we started coming to church, we felt very welcome. I felt the Lord a lot in this church. I saw passionate people. The Johnsons have been a huge part in my life because they were really nice and they invited us to the church and events that they had at their house, which was amazing. And now Mr. Johnson has been bringing me to prayer every Sunday at seven, which is um, a blessing because it's how I get to church and also how I get to experience more of God through prayer and get to see what the elders are doing, how passionate they are, which uh, gives me uh, more passion and hunger for God. In defining what a wildfire of grace looks like, it could sound nebulous, but it's really amazingly practical and real. It's grace. It's God's work. It's actually there for wholeness and healing and giving people purpose meaning and, and real joy, real peace, changing marriages, you know, changing parent-child relationships. Brad Armstrong, he has a passion to see God's grace spread to the people he's shepherding and called to care for as an elder. I think leading shepherding starts with my family. So my wife, Jen, my daughter, Abigail, my son, Noah, and I love teaching my children, reading them the scripture, reading to them from the Jesus Storybook Bible. For my daughter, Abigail, to understand that uh, when she disobeys or acts in a selfish way, that she's not just disobeying mommy and daddy, but that she's being disobedient to what God has commanded us to do. And so I love getting to teach her that when she disobeys, even one single instance of disobedience, it separates her from God and that she needs to be rescued and that in Jesus we have rescue and He is her rescuer, He's our rescuer. Campfires can be good because they're safe and contained, but a wildfire spreads. It cannot be contained. It's something that goes out from itself and changes everything around it. Judith Swall, she just can't help but talk about the goodness and grace of God transforming her life. I've been coming to the Vine now for 16 months. I fold bulletins with the ladies who have welcomed me. This last week I took an airplane to Fort Lauderdale and I was reading the book about the attributes of God. And the flight attendant came by and she asked me what I was reading and was very interested. So I shared about the attributes of God. Then she came back a second time and I gave her my book. And I could tell it was a blessing to her. And if I had not been at the vine and being spiritually fed and being blessed myself, I would not have known how to bless someone else. A wildfire of grace brings really every blessing. And that's what we want to see the Vine Community Church really be and do, is to become more and more that wildfire of grace it will transform and spread. And it cannot be contained.